So what's up guys, Faria and welcome to Shades of Tech. In this video, I will show you how to assemble the fastest external SSD of 2019 using USB-C transfer speed to get the most out of your external storage and get up to two times faster speed than regular SSD at a relatively cheap price and with really smaller dimension. Do you believe me? Leave a like if you don't. So USB Type-C is becoming more and more popular every day. We even saw it on the 2018 iPad Pro that was really unexpected. But the most interesting thing is that it's becoming a standard on most of next and current generation cameras like Sony and Blackmagic. So this kind of connection gives us a new degree of flexibility enabling super fast transfer speed. So the perfect companion for USB Type-C and Thunderbolt 3 is SSD storage. The idea of a big size, super fast and portable storage becomes very attractive. In the past couple of years, we saw a few examples of USB-C external SSDs like the Samsung T5 MUPA and the SanDisk Extreme SSD they are portable, but they're pretty expensive with the big storage size and can't fully take advantage of the USB transfer speed and the SSD. For example, I use it to store all my 4K clips and the Final Cut Pro library to edit on my 2013 iMac. Basically, I can go around with my Final Cut Pro library in my pocket and continue my editing workflow on the go with a laptop. The fastest SSD technology available right now is the PCIe and VME M.2 technology. I'm not going to technical, but essentially with this technology, the transfer connection gets rid of the bottleneck created by set a standard to get full advantage of what we can call an improvement on the regular 2.5 inch SSD. It is usually mounted directly on the motherboard, so it's meant for internal installation, but can be used externally with proper cases and it's much smaller than the regular set 2.5 inch and can get transfer speeds up to 4 times faster than regular SSD and up to 20 times faster than a regular mechanical drives according to which model of SSD you get. Another thing that I like is the size, it is 30% smaller than portal SSD and 50% smaller than 2.5 SSD so this makes really tiny and very portable. The only possible downside is that it tends to eat up a little bit more. Practically, external installation is less intensive because it is exposed to lower temperature and can lose it faster and more easily. In terms of case, I am using the LA Gear MVC01 NVMe M.2 PCIe SSD to USB Type C 3.1 Gen 2. Unless you get it, you will be limited to 10 gigabits per second and not the 20 like we want. I like it because the build quality is high, all metal with adhesive dissipant layer also included. I leave a link to a few advices case in order for you to choose which one you prefer. There are different options. Basically, the more you are willing to spend, the better the performance. I went with the Crucial P1 CT 1000 P1 SSD 8 and I chose this because it checked all the boxes for me and was the best value for the money. In fact, it costs around $120 and gets speeds like almost 1 megabyte per second. So real life comparison. On average, the USB-C NVMe got 900 in both read and write, more than two times the SETA 2.5 inch also crucial, which is around 412 times faster than mechanical hard drives with 70 on the read, 18 times faster in the write. Now that you have those two components, you have to install the SSD in the case. With the screwdriver included, you have to unscrew a few points and open the case. Then gently lay the SSD and incline it, placing the connector. Then push it down and fix it with the last screw place the heat disimplant layer that is included and you're done. It's pretty simple, then remount all of it and you finish. Very simple and straightforward. In the box there is included a nice USB to USB cable for connection. So as you can see the transfer speed are really high and mind blowing. So tell me in the comments what do you guys think about this solution. I think it's really promising and I have been using it for a few months. 
I believe that if you compare it with a regular 2.5 SSD with a reasonable increase of price, you get mind-blowing two times faster performance and it's even better than a portable SSD like the one I mentioned before because with the same money you can get faster transfer speed. Of course you can go with pro models but they cost a lot more and I don't think they are worth. So thanks so much for watching, if you find this video helpful be sure to drop a like and share with your friends and stay tuned on Shades of Tech for more videos like this. And as always I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!